Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a short but sweet one. We are going to be talking about one of the products that we received in our November BoxyCharm subscription and that is this absolutely gorgeously packaged Laka & Co Cloud Lips. This one here is in the shade Storm. It is the darkest one in the collection. I'm going to talk a little bit about Laka & Co. I did one video on them but it was I believe well over a year ago. It was one of the first videos I feel like that I did. So I thought this would be a good chance to chat a bit about the company again. I'm going to talk a little bit about the product. I'm going to put it on and show you the color and whatnot of it. I have been using this already so I formed some opinions on it and then I will give you my review at the end. Uh, I'm looking very pale right now because I don't have anything on my lips but we will get to that. So I'm going to put timestamps down below for all all the different parts of this video so you can skip past the corporate stuff, the brand stuff if you don't care about that. But for now, let's start talking about Laka & Co. Laka & Co is a brand that is based in New York. It was founded, interestingly, by the same person who founded Winky Lux, which was my last video. So we had a lot of things that actually come under the brand of Glow Concepts, and that is owned by Natalie McKay. She is basically a serial entrepreneur. Her background is in finance, and I've read some interesting interviews with her. She seems like what I really like in a female entrepreneur. Uh, she talks about um, the business and what she likes about it. In the interview I read, it talked about, you know, how do you find work-life balance, which I find is one of those things that they only ask women business owners and entrepreneurs. You never see them ask like male CEOs of company, like how do you find work-life balance? It, it's one of those purely female kind of questions, which I find annoying. Um, but she answered it very well. And she said like, I don't. I spent a lot of time on my business and I really am happy when I get to go home to, you know, my partner and my dog. Uh, but there isn't necessarily a work-life balance you can have that's going to be perfect. And she did talk when they said what's the biggest challenge of being a female entrepreneur about the lack of access to capital that is out there for women-owned businesses and, and women entrepreneurs. It was just very thoughtful and it sort of took it out of the, um, <clears throat> like, focusing on you're a female entrepreneur into the fact that she's she's an entrepreneur you don't need to talk about entrepreneurs being male or female but at the same time it's nice that this is a woman-owned brand um, all that to say that that is the founder of it and she owns both Winky Lux and Laka & Co as well as another brand that I hadn't heard of before I'll try to find the interview again and link it down below it's an article uh, if you're interested in reading that so Laka & Co has an interesting concept. So they started out with nail polish pens, which were supposed to be sort of easy on the go way to apply nail polish. But one of the things that they do on their different products is they highlight different artists work uh, from up and coming artists. And I'll put a few screenshots in here so you can see the kind of things they put on their uh, lip products, on their nail products, and they highlight on the website uh, which artist it is that they are promoting. And it's even not like all their lipsticks have one artist. Each individual lipstick has a different artist work on it. And those artists do get part of the profits from that product. I'm assuming not a lot because they still have to make the product, but it's kind of a neat thing that sets them apart from others. And in my opinion, would also make this a really good brand gift because it's really interesting packaging. Uh, the they do not by any means have a full line of products. You're really looking at some highlighters, lip products, and nail products. Um, so you're gonna find specialized things here, but at the same time, they are fairly affordable. It looks like most of their nail polishes are in the eight to $10 American range. Uh, their lip products tend to be in the 15 to $18 range for the American pricing. And they do have the site available so you can switch between US prices and Canadian prices if they sense that you're going to be shipping to Canada because you're accessing it from Canada. By the way, if you're wondering about this, I've not changed sort of my usual white. It's just, it's laundry day today. I live pretty minimally, so I don't have a lot of different sheets and comforters to put on here. So it's laundry day, this goes on. So the Cloud Lips product comes in this absolutely beautiful rose gold packaging. It's just very sleek and pretty looking. It only comes in four shades currently. There is one that is quite pink. There is one that's a little bit more of a mauve. One is a bright red. And then this one, which on the website, and when you first look at it, looks like it's going to be a quite a dark brown, almost black color. But you'll see when I put it on, it's actually quite a bright berry tone. Uh, 
Now that makes me wonder about how accurate the other colors are on the website if this one is actually quite different uh, than what it looked like online. These are $17 US. Here in Canada it's going to cost you $21.56 and these are described, it's interesting, when I first heard about this or opened this and got it in my BoxyCharm, I thought cloud lips. To me that sounds like it's going to be very muted or very glossy or not very bright because cloudy seems like a very airy kind of thing. So that's what I was expecting and it's quite the opposite. So it says here in the description, surprisingly fluffy Cloud Lips Airy Matte Lipstick delivers full coverage color for a pillow soft pout. Available in four high pigment shades, these lipsticks are formulated to last all day without feeling stiff thanks to avocado oil. So it actually is quite different it's, than I expected. It's matte, it's high pigment, and it's supposed to last you throughout the day. Now that we've talked about the product, I'm going to put it on so that I look a little less pale and you can see exactly what it looks like. I'm going to roll the bullet out all the way just to show you, you actually do get a fair bit of product, maybe even a little bit more than you would get in a typical bullet lipstick. And this is 2.6 grams of product that you get in here. So there it is on. And you can see it's sort of that dark berry vampy shade. Interestingly right now it's clinging a bit to the drier patches on my lower lip. It's the end of the day and my lips tend to get dry through the day. Uh, that could be taken care of by using a little bit of a lip scrub um, but I didn't notice that when I was wearing it before but also I'm sort of as I said reapplying this when my uh, lips are a little bit drier. This is basically just a bullet lipstick. So although they say it's going to last all day, I think part of the reason that they say that is because it does stain the lips. But I actually kind of enjoy that. Um, now you do have to be careful putting it on because it is gonna stain your skin as well. Uh, but when I first put this on to try it, I was going to work that day. And my work is pretty low key. It's not really like bright lipstick kind of work. So I put this on and I thought, oh no, you know what? I'm not gonna wear it for a day of work. Maybe I can tone it down a little bit. And I was able to because I was able to take it off and it left a stain behind, which was quite pretty. So I'm just gonna show that to you now. So this is what it looks like after blotting off all of the actual lipstick that's been on my lips but it still stays stained. And what I found is I was able to put like a gloss over top of this and it sort of smoothed it all out a little bit and it made it a much more natural kind of look for the day, just toned it down a little bit and I really liked that. So for me, I enjoyed using this more as a lip stain than as a lipstick. So for my thoughts on this is I quite like it. I do have to admit just putting it on now and having it cling to the dry spots on my lips kind of made me a little more hesitant than I was before. But here are my thoughts. On the pro side, I think this is beautiful packaging. I think you get a good amount of product in here and I think it does a really neat thing that you can use it both as a bullet lipstick and as a stain left on your lips. I don't know if the other colors do that, but I kind of think because uh, they have, I'm assuming, similar formulas that the other ones would leave a stain as well and that's how they can market it as being long lasting. Um, I think that the price is right on these. I mean, yes, it's a little bit above what you're gonna buy at a drugstore, but it's also a little bit cheaper than some of the products that you're going to get at like Sephora, let's say. Although maybe it's around the price of some of the products you can get at Sephora because actually in some places around the world, not in Canada or the US, but some other places, you can buy these through uh, Sephora. On the negative side, you did see that bit of clinginess to the dry spots on my lips. I will also say that although I think this is gorgeous packaging, I I'm a little disappointed that as far as I can tell, it looks like this is the only product line that they have that doesn't come packaged in sort of an artist kind of packaging. Like I think this is gorgeous, but I think they could have packaged it within a box that had like each different color having some kind of artwork on it. Because I think that taking young up and coming artists work and using it as part of their packaging and then giving back to those artists is something that sort of sets them apart as a brand. There's so many makeup companies out there that doing something that makes you stand out a little bit I think is important and I really do think that having all those different artists look and work on their packaging made it really nice to be able to um, gift these and also kind of nice to be able to gift a couple of them where it doesn't look like oh hey here's a few lipsticks or a few nail polishes they're really beautiful beautiful replications of art. So that is my review of the Laka & Co Cloud Lips. It's a 
it's a good product. It's a, you know, maybe like one and a half thumbs up. I think there's a couple things there that could be done better, but overall I think you get good value for the money and you're supporting kind of a neat brand with a smart woman founder and they do some nice things to give back to the community and recognize artists and do things that are a little different than your everyday makeup brand. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to watch more of my videos, if you are not yet subscribed to me, I will make my favorite pop up right here so that you can click on it and be subscribed and I will put one of my other videos right here uh, so you can click on that and spend some more time with me and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye!